Joining me today is newcomer Caleb Castile, who plays the main character in Woodlawn, Tony Nathan. Welcome, Caleb. Thanks for having me. So, amazing story. You're not an actor, I've never taken an acting course. How did you make it to be the, the main character in this <laughs> film? Well, uh, through a series of fortunate events. Um, you know, before, before this film came along, I'd done some commercials okay. and different things like that. So I had some set experience, but nothing to uh, that magnitude of a, you know, a feature film. So, but um, I don't know, it's, I guess, you know, given the fact that I did have that small amount of experience, mm -hmm. plus great coaching from, you know, uh, Andy Irwin, my director, and the cast that I had around me, I mean, it, they kind of just set me up to win. Your story really is a God story. So you sent in your tape and to audition for the role, and the director never saw it. Yeah. Tell us the story. <laughs> so I sent my tape in, my agent calls me, he's like, hey man, I got this great story about a guy who played at the University of Alabama, also grew up in uh, Birmingham, Alabama, right in your backyard. And, you know, at that time I'd been auditioning a lot and nothing was really um, jumping out at me, you know, it was a bunch of stuff that was just kind of the status quo, uh, stereotypical, you know, uh, black young mm -hmm. actor role. So um, when this came along, it was something that was positive. I fell in love with the story and the message. And, you know, I sent in my tape Fortunately, unfortunately, they did not see it. And, um, well, you know, and it's because just like any other business, you know, you got you want someone who has the experience and the resume. Um, and, you know, I sent my tape in and just believing that it was my role from the beginning. You know, I went as far as to sign the script and date it, kind of put it up for keepsake. And um, four weeks later, find out I didn't get the job. And um, I probably, you know what, I probably would have had a different attitude if I had have known that they didn't even see my yeah, audition yeah. tape. Uh, now looking back, but um, I went out anyway to just kind of, uh, I wanted any part I could have mm. in this. You were hungry. I was hungry. Yeah. And so I, I went for the uh, action double, which uh, was cool with me, you know. I'd be on the screen, but you just didn't, wouldn't know it was yeah. me, you know. I'm somewhere <laughs> and, back there. Yeah. There's my hair. <laughs> exactly. So. <laughs> Uh, I went out for that and three days before production, you know, um, while I'm going through rehearsals, God's just moving all these pieces around mm -hmm. because, you know, the whole time, you know, I was the one that he had chosen for this role and um, it was, it's just been incredible. God orders our steps. He Very orders our so. steps. I know that you have the story of how God told you to leave football and to enter into acting. You were you know, championship playing football football player yeah. and decided to walk away from that. Yeah. Why and how hard was that decision to, to do that? Well, I think it just is, you know, it's kind of like, um, you know, uh, Abraham, you know, God telling him, you know, leave this land. I have something else set out for you. He didn't know where he was going, you know, and I, you know, in the same sense, I felt God telling me, you know, football is not for you. I have something bigger. I have something better for you. You know, it won't necessarily be easy, but it's what I have for you. It's my plan for you. So I just wanted to be obedient to, to what I felt like the, you know, God was telling me. So, you know, I had some interest in acting and in entertainment and things like that. And so through those interests, I just, uh, I went, I went into acting mm. and it was the perfect path. I mean, I, I can't imagine doing anything else. And, um, but yeah, I mean, it wasn't really the hardest decision because, you know, at the same, at, at that moment, I was just desperate really for kind of a change in my life. I mean, even in my relationship with the Lord, I was, I was desperate for things to happen and for, uh, for him to move in my life. So, um, you know, when I decided that's what I was going to do, you know, I had a conversation with my father, conversation with Coach Saban, and they kind of gave me their blessing to pursue this dream, and that was really all I needed. Because I think it's amazing. I mean, many of us could say, oh, God's leading me here or there, and sometimes it's like, well, God, but I'm doing really well in this area. Are right. you really sure that I should go in this other area? But 
you were obedient right. to that calling and God bless you with it. And I know there, there are so many connections with your story and Tony Nathan's story. Mm -hmm. Your dad knew of Tony, um, he played, like there's so, tell us about yeah. all these connections, so, it's amazing. I mean, my dad was a freshman when Tony was leaving. I was a senior at the University of Alabama when they both played and recruited by Coach Bryant <laughs> and you know, um, I've grown up knowing who Tony was uh, oh. and you know, just seeing all of those parallels, it was just incredible. The fact that he even grew up in Birmingham, you know, where where I grew up also. So it's just, it's, I mean, you, it's the only way you can explain it is just, it's undeniably uh, God, you know, moving and uh, putting things in order. Yeah. I'm sure you've probably seen the movie a couple times. What are your thoughts about the film and seeing it? Well, I think it, you know, even though, I, you know, not saying this because I am in it, but I, I think good. it's an that's incredible right. film. That's all right. It's okay. <laughs> I think it's an incredible <laughs> film. Um, because Caleb Castillo no, was in it. That's what you really want to say. No, no. <laughs> I, I just, the one thing that I love about this film is there are so many elements mm. of it. Uh, you know, you have love and you have faith and you have hope you have the racism you have forgiveness and all these things but and and football mm -hmm. and and it just you know they're all on an even even plane it's like one doesn't stick out higher than the other they're all just s such strong elements and they just tie uh they tie in so well the story is is so tight-knit and you know i think the film um, answers a lot of questions that we're searching for today. I mean, I know, especially uh, in in uh, the U.S., it's just you know, so many. You know, I, I I don't think that our producers and directors, you know, could have ever guessed that the timing of this film mm -hmm. would be because they were working on this a long long right. before Ferguson. Of long course, before a, of course. A and so you know, Ferguson, the Ferguson. Uh, uh, verdict happened while we were filming wow. and so you have just all of these incredible moments happening that just uh, you know uh, assured reassured that you know we were doing um, this for for that reason you know and it's just been incredible and as a young black man taking on this role mm -hmm. I mean there is responsibility in being able to to tell this story well yes. as Tony Nathan and also um, to show during a time that is so contentious. Yes. Did you feel that pressure? Did you feel like, I want to do my best to show? Of course, yeah. I, I think, for one, I mean, you're playing, I was playing someone who was still alive. Yeah, a real person. <laughs> a real yeah. person. So, you know, that had its advantages and a lot, some, you know, it could have its disadvantages too because, uh, you know, advantages to that situation is that, you know, I had him there on set asking him, you know, yeah. how would you make this cut or what would you be thinking in this situation? And, you know, uh, a, a disadvantage was, is that, you know, if you're a young actor that can get to you yeah. in your head of saying like, you know, having that pressure, but Tony and how, and his humility mm -hmm. and his just, his, uh, his grace as a, as a man, you know, he was just so, um, blown away by the fact that they were even telling hmm. his story and so you know when I would ask him those questions he you know it was like we both had this wide-eyed you know like this is incredible type attitude yeah. about the situation but we were able to collaborate and I was able to I, I you know f from him telling me and his, also his family you know mm. seeing his mom and dad say like you know, pat me on the back and say like, wow, that was incredible. Like even his sisters, you know, it just, it, it was just amazing. What was, I know, uh, I read that the first couple days as you were acting were probably some of the most grueling days. You were doing a lot of the football scenes. Uh, You're probably thinking twice about this yeah. whole acting thing. <laughs> I, uh, what right. was that experience yeah, like? Yeah, so, I mean, the, f you know, uh, <laughs> Our genius producers and directors <laughs> said, hey, we should film the football earlier in the fall so we don't run into the harsh Alabama winter. Wise decision. So, wise decision. And the harsh Alabama winter had <laughs> its own ideas. And it came right when we were in yeah. the, the chunk of filming the most vital football scenes. And so 
you know, we're doing the, this huge rain sequence uh, and, you know, they're dumping rain on us, you know, from, from in the air, from these huge sprinklers. And, you know, it's like 35 degrees and, wow. it, you know, for hours, for about two or three days. And so, yeah. For our Canadian audience, you're talking Fahrenheit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, yes, Fahrenheit, yes. which is, you know, we're cold. That's, yeah, that's two degrees from mm -hmm. freezing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think that, you know, for me being a young actor, I didn't have to act at all. I'm like, Andy, I'm cold. He's like, good, do that. Yeah, just stay Run. like that, you know? <laughs> Run, you know? And so it was just, you know, looking back on it, it was, it was fun. It was, um, it, there was pain involved, but I mean, that's what, that's what makes it all worthwhile. Thank you again, Caleb. And I can't wait to see Woodlawn. I know that it's a great film, so thank you again. You're welcome.